Hello and welcome to another Sims 4 Survivor Brad Steel season. This one I have dubbed Generations because we are doing a generation divide type season. This is based on Millennials versus Gen X, which is the format we are following today. So we have this one tribe of teens and then another tribe of elders, a younger tribe and an older tribe, you know. This is a format that Survivor has done a few times, but I feel like Millennials vs. Gen X is the most successful one they've done. And it's also one of my personal favorite seasons. So that's why we're following that one and not like Nicaragua or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, let's introduce the cast. We will start off with the younger tribe known as the Babysitter Tribe, named after the iconic career from the sims 3 generations um that's gonna be like a recurring theme for this season first up we have aurelio robles i believe the first asexual sim in the sims franchise his mother didn't do so hot on her run on sims 4 survivor so hopefully he can do a little bit better next up we have the guy with a bag on his head from eco lifestyle we've got jeb harris another person related to an alumni we have luna villareal here her dad did pretty well, so maybe she can replicate that as well. Next up, we have a member of the Renegades with a contentious relationship with her sister. We've got Morgan Fyrus. We also have the principal's daughter. Molly Prescott is here. Coming from the world that we are playing in today, maybe she has a home field advantage. We've got Shafira Kayaputri. Next up, we have the local grocery delivery boy, Rahul Chopra, all the way from Hanford on Bagley. Then we got one of the most forgettable Sim families in The Sims 4, in my opinion. We have Rohan Elderberry here. Another person from high school years. We've got the exchange student living with the Price family, Kevin Puri. And then finally, we have Baby Ariel. Why is she in The Sims 4? No one really knows, but she's here to compete. Then we've got the older people tribe. This is composed of all elders, with one exception, which we'll get to. <laughs> They are named the Walking Cane Tribe, after the iconic Walking Cane from Sims 3 Generations, again. You better answer your damn phone or this bitch will not stop calling you. We've got Eleanor Sullivan, here to take care of your children for you. Maybe she will take care of the children on the other tribe. We also have the Island Guardian from Sulani, it's Keala Hoapili. We had to have at least one base game sim, so we've got Dennis Kim here. Hopefully he can do better than his son-in-law. Coming all the way from Chestnut Ridge, we have the reclusive horse guy, Don Guzman. Hailing from Evergreen Harbor, we have Blossom Greenberg, here to spread awareness for eco-conscious behavior. Coming all the way from Mount Komorebi, we have Shigeru Nishitake. From San Mishuno, we have Gira Risoya. Hopefully she can win and kick out her son. <laughs> Next up, we've got university teacher Thomas Jabari. We also have mother of four cats. Kitty Lou is here. And finally, this person is so old that he's been dead for hundreds of years. We've got Bernard, the lord of the Wan Haunt estate, which he burned down and killed himself and his wife in the process. <laughs> R.P. Bernard. Maybe he can buy himself a new life after this. I don't know. All right, this is the cast. Without further ado, let's just get into it. And we will start with a twist. They all have to find supplies that are scattered across the beach, but there is also a hidden legacy advantage, which Kevin has been able to find. This becomes basically an immunity necklace if he reaches the final six, and if he gets voted out, then he has to pass it on to someone else if you haven't seen the season. Honestly, this is one of my favorite advantages in Survivor. I kind of wish they'd bring it back, even though I feel like it hasn't really had that much of an impact. I think it just kind of clashes with the idol, to be honest. But anyway... We will see what's going on on the beaches, which is nothing, so let's just go into immunity. The old person tribe, the walking cane tribe, they have one immunity, very nice, they also win flint. So let's see what's going on on the babysitter beach. Kevin has found the hidden immunity idol, he has the idol, he has the legacy advantage, he's in a really good spot now. I imagine. Aurelio and Rohan have a small fight. Oh, that's not great. And Luna and Morgan have a major fight. Also not great. This tribe is starting off on a on the wrong foot. That's not great. But on the walking cane tribe, nobody has found the idol. Dennis is impressing the rest of the team, aside from Blossom, who has a major fight with him. All right. Maybe Blossom becoming kind of a pariah. We'll see. Let's go into tribal. We have the younger babysitter tribe here. We've got Kevin with the idol, and it's time to vote. If anyone has the idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. 
Nobody stands up. So I will read the votes. First vote goes to Rohan. That's one word, Rohan. Second vote goes to Rohan. That's two votes, Rohan. Eight votes left. Third vote goes to Rohan. Three votes, Rohan. Seven votes left. The next vote goes to Kevin. Oh, no. <laughs> That's three votes, Rohan. One vote, Kevin. Six votes left. The next vote goes to Rohan. Four votes, Rohan. One vote, Kevin. Five votes left. Next vote goes to Kevin. We got four votes, Rohan. Two votes, Kevin. Four votes left. The next one goes to Kevin. We've got four votes, Rohan. Three votes, Kevin. And the next one goes to Kevin. We're tied. Four votes, Kevin. Four votes, Rohan. Two votes left. Kevin could go out with an idol here. That's, that's going to be unfortunate, but let's read the rest of the votes. We've got two votes left. And the next one goes to Rohan. Five votes, Rohan. Four votes, Kevin. One vote left. And the last vote goes to Kevin. <laughs> We're tied. <laughs> Why is there always so many ties in Brad Steels? I swear. It's, it's way too much. Anyway, Kevin and Rohan, they cannot vote. So we will have a re-vote with everyone else. The first vote goes to Rohan. Second vote goes to Kevin. Third vote goes to Kevin. Fourth vote goes to Kevin. Three votes Kevin. One vote Rohan. Four votes left. The fifth vote goes to Rohan. Three votes Kevin. Two votes Rohan. Next vote goes to Kevin. Four votes Kevin. Two votes Rohan. Two votes left. It could still be a tie. But it's not. The first person voted out. It's Kevin with an idol and with the legacy advantage. Oh my god, that is... That is very unfortunate. Alright, well, Kevin, RIP, the tribe has spoken. Let's see how this vote turned out. We've got Aurelio voting for Rohan. Oh, I can see this at the bottom here. The Kevin votes are Baby Ariel, Luna, Morgan, Rohan, and Shafira. The Rohan votes are Aurelio, Jeb, Kevin, Molly, and Rahul. And then Rahul and Jep flip on the reboot. Okay. So Aurelio and Molly probably not in the best spot here. But we have Kevin gifting the legacy advantage to Kitty Lou. I don't know why, but <laughs> maybe he just hated his tribe. Anyway, we lose Kevin here. Episode one. Let's move on to episode number two. We have another idol hidden on the babysitter beach since uh, Kevin went out with his. We also have an idol hidden on the Walking Cane Beach. Nobody's found it. Kitty Lou has the legacy advantage. And let's go to immunity. The old tribe, the Walking Cane tribe, they have won immunity again. They also win a tarp. All right. So let's see what's going on on the beaches. Babysitter tribe. They are going back to tribal. Jap and Morgan bond strongly, which has a lasting impact. And it results in an alliance here. We've got a four-person alliance. We got Jeb, we got Morgan, the people bonding strongly, and then we have Rahul and Aurelio. So Aurelio kind of getting into an alliance here, even though he was in the minority in the last vote. So hopefully this is going to help him out. I forget who the other person was. Was it Rahul? It might have been. Anyway, let's go to the Walking Cane tribe. Bernard has found the hidden immunity idol. And we've got Don having a major meltdown. We got Bernard and Keala having a minor disagreement. Then we have Keala and Thomas bonding slightly. And that also results in an alliance. Keala, Thomas, Dennis, and Bernard. Even though Bernard and Keala were having a minor disagreement, they still came together for this alliance. We also have Bernard getting injured but gets treated and can stay in the game. I don't know how he can get injured. He's already dead. But I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we will go to tribal. No one's got the idol. So we will just vote. And if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody's got it. So I will read the votes. First vote goes to Molly Prescott. Second vote goes to Molly. That's two votes Molly. Third vote goes to Molly. That's three votes Molly. And the fourth vote goes to Rohan. Three votes Molly, one vote Rohan. Five votes left. Next vote goes to Molly, that's four votes Molly, one vote Rohan, four votes left. And the next vote goes to Rohan, that's four votes Molly, two votes Rohan. Next vote goes to Rohan, we got four votes Molly, three votes Rohan, two votes left. And the next vote goes to Rohan as well. So that's four votes Molly, four votes Rohan, we're tied, one vote left. And the second person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. It's Rohan. He wasn't able to pick up the pieces after almost getting voted out last time. He's gone now. That's too bad. So we have 
this alliance voting for Rohan. It's Aurelio, Jeb, Morgan, and Rahul. And then Molly tagged in on that. Then the Molly votes are Baby Ariel, Luna, Rohan, and Shafira. All right. Maybe Molly will attach herself to this alliance. All right. Well, we will move on to episode number three. Now, the question is, will the Babysitter Tribe be able to pull in a win here? I believe we're about to swap, so it's probably not looking great for them. But we see that Morgan Fires has found the Hidden Immunity Idol on the Babysitter Beach. And then on the Walking Cane Beach, we have Bernard with the Idol, Kitty Lou with the Alexi Advantage. And let's see who won Immunity. It's going to be the old people again. <laughs> Walking Cane Tribe, not going to Tribal. Once again, it's going to be the Babysitter Tribe. Walking Cane Tribe also winning some comfort items. What a steamroll. But let's see what's going on on the Babysitter Tribe. We got Luna and Shafira bonding strongly. We've got Jep and Shafira finding something in common. And then we have the Babysitter Alliance number one dissolving its god. <laughs> But look at this, Babysitter Alliance number two forms, which is all the same people except for Rahul and Shafira is instead in the Alliance. <laughs> okay, I guess they just like booted Rahul out, brought in Shafira. They're now at a higher loyalty. So I imagine Rahul is not in a great spot here. He might be out. But let's go to the Walking Cane Beach. We have Bernard and Dennis having a small fight. We also have Bernard and Eleanor having a small fight. And then we have Eleanor and Shigeru finding something in common. And then we have the Alliance, Bernard. He's gone. He's, he doesn't want to be there anymore. He's fighting with everyone. He's not even fighting with people in the... Oh, wait, hang on. Dennis is in the Alliance. Okay. Well, I guess that small fight was enough to make Bernard dip out. He's gone. He does have the idol, though. So maybe he's going to be fine. But let's go to Tribal. We got the Babysitter Tribe here. Once again, these people, they cannot get anything done. We will vote, and if anyone has the Hidden Immunity Idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Rahul. Next vote goes to... Luna. One vote Luna, one vote Rahul. Next vote goes to... Rahul. So that's two votes Rahul, one vote Luna. Next vote goes to... Rahul. Three votes Rahul, one vote Luna. The next one goes to Luna. We got three votes Rahul, two votes Luna, three votes left. The next one goes to Rahul. Four votes Rahul, two votes Luna, two votes left. And the third person voted out. It's Rahul. That's five, that's enough. Rahul, the tribe has spoken. He was in that alliance, but they betrayed him. They didn't want to work with him anymore. So I imagine they are the ones that voted for him. Let's see. It's Aurelio, it's Baby Ariel, it's Jeb, it's Luna. It's Morgan and Shafira. So that's the Alliance plus Baby Ariel and probably um, Luna, right? Yeah. And then Molly Prescott is voting for Luna Villarreal for some reason. I don't know what she's doing, but that's unfortunate for Rahul. He's gone. I guess it was probably not good strategic play on his part, but we will move on to episode number four. We got nothing going on on the beaches. This alliance is now a three-person alliance. We got Dennis, Keala, Thomas. And there is a reward challenge this time around. The young people have one reward. They win a grill with meats, vegetables, and spices. Maybe that's going to be enough to uh, kick them in high gear for the immunity challenge. Let's see. It does. The Babysitter Tribe has, for the first time, won immunity. They pull it out, not going to tribal four times in a row, which means the Walking Cane Tribe is going to have to go to tribal for the first time. Let's see what's going on on the Babysitter Beach. We got Shafira impressing the rest of the team. We've got Morgan and Shafira bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. And we have another alliance forming. We have Babysitter Alliance number three, a three-person alliance. It's Baby Ariel, it's Luna, and it's Shafira. Baby Ariel not like super into this alliance, or at least not as much as Luna and Shafira, but this could be like a decent opposing force to that four-person alliance. Although Shafira also in that alliance, so I imagine Molly Prescott is probably in trouble moving forward since she's the only person not in an alliance on this tribe. Let's see what's going on on the Walking Cane Beach. We've got Eleanor and Gita having a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. We've got Dennis and Don finding something in common, which has a lasting impact. So, honestly, this could be anyone at this point. We've got that alliance of 
Dennis, Keala, and Thomas, but there's only three of them, so they don't really control this vote. I imagine Bernard might catch some votes since he left the Alliance, and he has been, like, fighting with people left and right. So let's go to Tribal and see who goes out. We got Kitty Lou with the Luxury Advantage, we've got Bernard with Idol, and it's time to vote. If anyone has the Hidden Immunity Idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands, so I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Eleanor Solomon. Second vote goes to... Bernard. Third vote goes to... Eleanor. Two votes Eleanor, one vote Bernard. Fourth vote goes to... Eleanor. Three votes Eleanor, one vote Bernard. Next vote goes to Bernard. We got three votes, Eleanor, two votes, Bernard, and then we got another vote for Bernard. We're tied. Three votes, Bernard, three votes, Eleanor, four votes left. And the next one goes to Eleanor. We got four votes, Eleanor, three votes, Bernard, and the next one goes to Eleanor. That's five votes, Eleanor, three votes, Bernard, two votes left. And the fourth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. It's Eleanor, Eleanor Sullivan. She's gone. R.I.P. That's unfortunate. Let's see how this vote turned out. We've got Bernard voting for Eleanor. We've got Dennis. We got Don. We got Gita. We got Keala, Kitty, and Thomas. So that three-person alliance is voting together, and they're not voting for Bernard. They're actually voting with Bernard. And the Bernard votes are Blossom, Eleanor, and Shigeru. All right, interesting. Bernard survived here with the idol. Not in trouble. But Eleanor Sullivan goes out here. She is the fourth person voted out. That's unfortunate for her, but we will move on to episode number five. We have a twist. It's a tribe swap. We're going from two tribes into three tribes, and they will be randomly assigned. And then it says, members of the third tribe will have to start from scratch. Because of this disadvantage, the third tribe gets one extra member. All right. So here are the new tribes. The new babysitter tribe. It is Gita Risoya, Jab Harris, Keala Hoapili, Kitty Lou, and Shigeru Nishidake. So that's four people from the old Walking Cane tribe and Jeb Harris. So that's not great for him. On the new Walking Cane tribe, we have Baby Ariel, we got Blossom Greenberg, we got Dennis Kim, we got Don Guzman, and we got Shafira Kayaputri. So babysitters also in a minority here, but I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing since these three people are not really in an alliance together. I do believe Dennis and Don were like bonding in the last episode. And if I remember correctly, Blossom was like arguing with someone. So this could shake out to be a very interesting tribal if they go to tribal. Then we got the new third tribe that I dubbed the Spiral Stairs tribe. Named after the spiral stairs that used to be in The Sims. Which, honestly, they should bring back. I want them back. <laughs> but on this tribe, we have Aurelio Robles. We got Bernard. We got Luna Villarreal. We got Molly Prescott. And we've got Morgan Fires and Thomas Jabari. The babysitter's actually in a majority here. Bernard has the idol. Thomas, kind of on a ship on his own. He could be swap screwed here, maybe. But again, like all of these babysitters, I don't think they're actually working together. So who's to say what's going to happen? Let's go to the beaches. We have Kitty Lou with the Legacy Advantage. This is the lay of the land. We've got Keala by herself on the Walking Cane Alliance. In fact, I think these three are all on different tribes. <laughs> That's a very unfortunate draw for them. On the Babysitter Alliance number two, we've got Jeb Harris by himself. On the Walking Cane tribe, we have Dennis by himself. We've got Shafira by herself here in Babysitter Alliance number two. But Baby Ariel and Shafira, they are together in an alliance, the three-person alliance that was formed in the last episode. But Baby Ariel, not super loyal to this, so that might not turn out super well for them. And let's see what's going on on the Spiral Stairs tribe, the new one. Aurelio has found the Hidden Immunity Idol. All of the idols actually on this beach. We've got Aurelio with one, we got Bernard with one, and we have Morgan with one. Then the alliances, we have Thomas by himself. We have Aurelio and Morgan together in an alliance. I kind of forgot about that. And then we have Luna by herself as well. Let's go to the immunity challenge and see what's going on. Spiral Stairs, the new tribe, they have one immunity, and so has the Walking Cane tribe. That means the Babysitter tribe is going to tribal, and no one's really aligned with anyone, so this could be a very interesting tribal. Let's go see what's going on on the beach. We have Keala and Shigeru having a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact, and then we have Keala and Kitty 
finding something in common which has a lasting impact. Only the former old tribe members doing something here. I feel like Shikaru could be in trouble here if these two women decide to pull in the younger people for this vote. On the Walking Cane tribe, we have Baby Ariel and Blossom bonding strongly, which has a lasting impact. We have Blossom and Dennis having a major fight, which has a lasting impact. These two, I feel like they do not like each other at all. And Baby Ariel, she gets injured, but she gets treated and can stay in the game. Spiral Stairs tribe, let's see what's going on there. We got all these idols, and we got Aurelio and Bernard having a small fight, which has a lasting impact, and that's it. <laughs> okay, let's go to tribal. We have... The new babysitter tribe here, composed of Gita Rosoya, Jeb Harris, Keala Hoapili, Kitty Lou, and Shigeru Nishidake. Kitty Lou has the legacy advantage, which cannot be used, but it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. First vote goes to Gita Rosoya. Next vote goes to Kitty Lou. One vote Gita, one vote Kitty. Next vote goes to. Kitty, that's two votes Kitty, one vote Gita, two votes left. Next vote goes to Gita, that's two votes Gita, two votes Kitty, one vote left. Surprising that Jap is not getting a single vote here. <laughs> I guess the older people, they were just waiting to vote each other out. But I will read the last vote. And the fifth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations is Gita Rosoya. She was not in the worst spot ever. I don't really understand what she was doing to get voted out here, but she apparently was not able to rally the old people together against Jap. He survives. Gita is out. As you can see, it is these two women here that were bonding, Keala and Kitty. They pull in Jap. So uh, my prediction was correct. Gita and Shigeru voting together against Kitty. I don't know why Shigeru is not taking the hit here, but maybe they need him for challenges. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to episode number six. We have Jeb Harris at a loyalty of seven to the Babysitter Alliance number two. He's not with any of these people on the tribe, but he is getting more and more loyal. Good for him, I guess. I don't know. I'm also seeing Shafira here drop down in loyalty. I feel like maybe Baby Ariel and Shafira do not like each other. So that's not great since they are together, like the only people together in an alliance on this beach. And then here we got all these idols. <laughs> but let's just go to a reward. We got the Babysitter Tribe winning reward. They win baked goods, iced tea, and milk. And then we got the Walking Cane Tribe winning chocolate chip cookies. As for immunity, we have the Babysitter Tribe winning immunity and the Walking Cane Tribe winning immunity. The same people that won reward. That means the six person. Spiral Stairs tribe will be going to tribal, uh, the one with all the idols. <laughs> so we could be seeing one or two or even three idols getting played. Let's go to the Babysitter Beach. We have a new alliance. It's the people that voted together last time. It's Jeb Harris, it's Keala Hoapili, it's Kitty Lou. That makes sense. I guess Shigeru, he's in trouble if they go to tribal again. But on the Walking Cane Beach, we have Baby Ariel resting to restore her energy. And then the Spiral Stairs tribe, the one that is going to tribal. Absolutely nothing happens. <laughs> we just have these idols. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be a wild tribal. All right, we got the Spiral Stairs tribe here. We got Aurelio Robles, Bernard, Luna Villarreal, Molly Prescott, Morgan Fires, and Thomas Jabari. And it is time to vote. If anyone has the Hidden Immunity Idol, I would like to play it. Now is the time to do so. Morgan! She decides to use the Babysitter Hidden Immunity Idol on herself. Any votes cast against Morgan will not count. I will read the votes. Nobody else is going to use their idols. Just the one. The first vote, it will go to... Bernard. Morgan wasted an idol. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> but the next vote goes to... Luna Villarreal. One vote Bernard, one vote Luna. Antique get together sentiment here. Next vote goes to... Bernard, two what's Bernard, one what's Luna, and the next one goes to Luna, that's two what's Bernard, two what's Luna, two what's left. Next one goes to Luna, we got three votes Luna, two what's Bernard, one vote left, and it's Bernard, we're tied. So maybe Morgan did not waste her idol here if we're going into rocks. We will do a re-vote, Bernard and Luna will not vote, everyone else will vote again. The first vote goes to Bernard, one vote Bernard, the next one goes to Bernard, that's two votes Bernard, two votes left. Next vote goes to Luna, 
two was Bernard, one was Luna, one was left, and the last one goes to Luna Vertide again. <laughs> okay, very strategic play by Morgan here. To use her idol, she's not gonna draw a rock. Luna and Bernard, they're also safe. So we're going to rock. It's gonna be either Aurelio, Molly, or Thomas. And we will see who draws the rock. It is going to be Aurelio. Aurelio Robles draws the purple rock. Unfortunate for him. He's going out here by chance. He should have flipped. So the Bernard votes are Luna, it's Molly, it's Thomas. And the Luna votes are Aurelio, Bernard, and Morgan. And then everyone sticks to their guns on the reboot. Since Morgan voted for Luna and Aurelio also voted for Luna, I guess Morgan, Aurelio, and Bernard were like working together and they made a conscious decision to go to Rocks. And they were hoping probably that Aurelio would just get lucky and not draw the rock, but it did not work out that way. All right, well, we'll see what Morgan and Bernard do now. Let's go to episode number seven. Wait, did Aurelio have an idol? Oh yeah, Aurelio had an idol. Did he? He did have an idol. Oh my god. He went out with an idol in his pocket. Oh no. Well, that means the babysitter idol is now hidden. Once again, re-hidden. There's no idol on the walking cane beach. And there is an idol also hidden on the spiral stairs beach. Okay, very interesting. Also, also, of course, Bernard still has an idol. So let's see who wins the reward. It is going to be the babysitter tribe and the walking cane tribe. Spiral stairs case tribe. Now, I guess, spiraling <laughs> a little bit. But immunity goes to babysitter tribe and the spiral stairs tribe. So walking cane tribe going to tribal here. Let's see what's going on on the babysitter tribe. Uh, idol still hidden. No one found dead. We have Keala and Shigeru bonding slightly. And then we have Jeff Harris leaving the alliance, the newly formed three-person alliance. I don't know why. I don't know what business he has doing that. But Shigeru is working hard at camp and becomes tired. All right, well, walking cane tribe. Let's see what's going on here. Don and Shafira find something in common, which has a lasting impact, and that's it. <laughs> okay, uh, these people are going to tribal and nothing is happening for them. On the spiral stairs tribe, literally nothing happens. All right, <laughs> let's just go to tribal. All right, we got the walking cane tribe at their first tribal here. We've got baby Ariel, we got Blossom Greenberg, we got Dennis Kim, Don Guzman, and Shafira Kayaputri. It's time to vote. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, and now is the time to do so. Nobody stands because there are no idols on the speech. I will read the votes. The first word goes to Blossom. One word Blossom. Next word goes to Don. One word Blossom. One word Don. The next word goes to Don. That's two words Don. One word Blossom. The next word goes to Blossom. That's two words Blossom. Two words Don. One vote left. And the seventh person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. It's Don. Don Guzman. The tribe has spoken. I don't really understand how this happened since <laughs> there were three older people on this tribe. So they should have linked together. But they were fighting. Dawn and Dennis voted out Blossom. And Blossom, I guess, flipped on them. She went to the younger tribe members, Shafira and Baby Ariel. And they decided to vote out Dawn. So Dawn goes out here in episode number seven. It's very unfortunate for him, but maybe he should have managed his relationship with Blossom a little bit better. Let's move on to episode number eight. We have the merch. This is the new merch tribe called the Imaginary Friend Tribe. Of course, named after the iconic Imaginary Friend life stage. Or not life stage, the occult. Would it be an occult? Probably, right? The occult <laughs> Imaginary Friend from Sims 3 Generations. Those who made the merch are Baby Ariel, Bernard, Blossom Greenberg, Dennis Kim, Jeb Harris, Keala Hoapili, Kitty Lou, Luna Villarreal, Molly Prescott, Morgan Fires, Shigeru Nishidake, Thomas Jabari, and Shafira Kayaputri. So we got a mix of people here. We got 13 people. That's a lot. That's way too much for one merch, to be honest. But okay, I guess. Just to recap what's going on, we got Bernard with an idol. We've got Kitty Lou with the Legacy Advantage. We have a new idol hidden. We also have the Reward Stealer hidden. And then these are our alliances going into the merge. We've got Dennis Kim, Keala, and uh, Thomas together in Walking Cane Alliance number one. 
these three are not like super loyal to each other, but they have been basically together since day one. Then we got Babysitter Alliance number two, which is at a pretty good strength. They were four, but they just lost Aurelio uh, not too long ago. So they are now down to three. It is Jeb Harris, it's Morgan Fires, and Shafira Kayaputri. Then we have the Babysitter Alliance number three which is Baby Ariel, Luna Villarreal, and Shafira Kayaputri. Luna, super loyal to this, and Baby Ariel and Shafira are not, like, <laughs> super loyal to this. So I don't know how strong this is, but then we have the Babysitter Alliance number four, which is Keala and Kirilu. They seem to be having a final two here. Very strong alliance. This is, of course, the alliance that Jeb Harris decided to leave. But let's see who wins the first immunity at the merch. It is... Luna Villarreal, she wins immunity. Good for her. Cannot become the merch boot here. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We have Dennis finding the idol. And then we have Thomas finding the, 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 the reward steal. All right. This is the one that Adam found and he gave it to Jay. I remember that. We got all these advantages here. And then we have our events. Baby Ariel and Jeb find something in common, uh, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Bernard and Keala bonding strongly. All right, well, not too much going on on the beach. Let's go to tribal. We have the merch tribe here, the imaginary friend tribe. We got Baby Ariel, Bernard, Blossom, Dennis, Jeb, Keala, Kitty, Luna, Molly, Morgan, Shigeru, Thomas, and Shafira. All right, it is time to vote. Luna has the immunity necklace and cannot be voted for. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Dennis Kim has decided to use the hidden immunity idol on Thomas Jabari. Any votes cast against Thomas will not count. I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Dennis Kim. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dennis may be wasting an idol. <laughs> we'll see. Next vote goes to Bernard. Third vote goes to Baby Ariel. We got one vote Baby Ariel, one vote Bernard, one vote Dennis. Ten votes left. Next vote goes to Dennis. Two votes Dennis, one vote Baby Ariel, one vote Bernard. Next vote goes to Baby Ariel. And the next vote goes to Dennis. And the next vote goes to Bernard. We've got three votes Dennis, two votes Baby Ariel, two votes Bernard. Six votes left. Next vote goes to... Bernard, we're tied again. Bernard and Dennis with three. Baby Ariel with two. Next one goes to Baby Ariel. We're tied. Three for each. Four votes left. And the next one goes to Baby Ariel. That's four votes Baby Ariel. Three votes Bernard. Three votes Dennis. And the next one goes to Bernard. He's tied with Baby Ariel now with four. And the next one goes to Baby Ariel. That's five votes Baby Ariel. Four votes Bernard. Three votes Dennis. One vote left. And the eighth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations and the first member of the jury. It is Baby Ariel. <laughs> That's not very perf. <laughs> Baby Ariel, the merch boot. She did make the jury though. Very, very, very large jury. I don't know what they were thinking with this season, but I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's see how the vote turns out. We've got Baby Ariel votes. They are Bernard, Dennis, Keala, Kitty, Shigeru, and Thomas. All the old people here, uh, aside from Blossom. Then we got the Bernard votes being Jeb, Molly, Morgan, and Shafira. And the Dennis votes are Baby Ariel, Blossom, and Luna. So Blossom Greenberg just completely against the old people. She is with the younger people now. Uh, not voting correctly though, that's not great for her. But we'll see if it works out for her in the long run. We will move on to the next episode. We're here at the final 10, and let's see what's going on. Um, there's a new idol hidden. Nobody has found it yet. We got our alliances. Luna and Shafira now at an 8 loyalty. Now that baby Ariel is gone, I guess. <laughs> we also see Shafira up to an 8 here in this alliance as well. So this alliance could also be doing some uh, good stuff here. Shafira actually with a lot of social capital. Let's go to immunity. Oh, wait, it's reward. Let's go to reward. <laughs> this group wins reward. It's Bernard, it's Blossom, it's Dennis, it's Morgan, Shigeru, and Shafira. They win a trip to a poolside resort with a feast of burgers, fries, and cocktails. All right, we will go to immunity. And Morgan Fires has one immunity. Very nice. Let's see what's going on on the beach. Uh, nobody has found the idol yet, but Blossom is impressing the rest of the team. Keala and Morgan have a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. And we have the first merge alliance. It is 
Bernard, it's Blossom, it's Jeb Harris, Molly Prescott, Morgan Fyrus. Interesting group of people here. I don't really understand how this came together. It's the young people plus Blossom who... Well, I guess it did work out to um, vote with him last time. And then for some reason, Bernard is also in this. I don't really know what he's doing here, but I'm not going to knock it. It's a very strong, like, five-person alliance going into this vote. They are at least going to tie the vote. Let's go to tribal. All right, we got the imaginary friends tribe here. Final 10. No, wait, this is the final 12. I can't count. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. It's the final 12. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which means the five-person alliance is not actually... Um, that strong of a number but still it's still the like largest alliance going into this tribal so five votes that's still pretty good all right morgan has the necklace and it is time to vote if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it now's the time to do so nobody stands up so i will read the votes first vote goes to blossom blossom greenberg next vote goes to shigeru one vote blossom one vote shigeru and the next one goes to Shigeru has two votes Shigeru, one vote Blossom. Next vote goes to Blossom. That's two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru. Eight votes left. Next vote goes to Luna Villarreal. Two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru, one vote Luna. Seven votes left. Next vote goes to Luna. We're two for each of the people. <laughs> Luna, Shigeru, and Blossom. Next vote goes to Luna. That's three votes Luna, two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru. And the next vote goes to Luna, four votes Luna, two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru. Four votes left. And the next vote goes to Luna. That's five votes Luna, two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru, three votes left. And the ninth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. And second member of the jury, it is Luna Villarreal. She won the last challenge and immediately they were like, comp beast, get rid of her. <laughs> so Luna goes out here. That's really unfortunate for Shafira. I thought the two of them were going to be able to work together very well, but Luna gets clipped here, unfortunately. Let's see the votes. We got Bernard, Blossom, Dennis, Keala, Kitty, Molly, Shigeru, and Thomas voting for Luna. Is this the Alliance? Were, were these people in the Alliance? I don't think so. Who was the Alliance? Um, Bernard, Blossom, Jeb, Molly, and Morgan. Okay. Morgan is not voting with them for some reason. Weird. Anyway, Blossom votes are Luna and Shafira, and Shikaru votes are Jeb and Morgan. Maybe they were vote splitting, just in case. Just in case Luna would whip out an idol. Probably. Alright, let's move on to the next episode. Final 11. This merch is it's way too big. Really strange. I don't know why they did, did it like this. <laughs> Alright. Shikaru Nishidake has found the hidden immunity idol. Alright. That's gonna be a little bit of security for him. That's great. All right, how loyal is this big alliance? Not very. They're at a five strength. We, of course, have Shafira and uh, Luna, the two-person alliance. That is dissolved since Shafira is the only one left now. But let's go to reward. These people win reward. It is Jeb, Keala, Molly, Morgan, Thomas. And they win a trip to a floating restaurant with pizza, chicken wings, beer, within range of the camp, and letters from home. All right. But... What actually matters? Immunity. Let's see who wins. It is Jeb Harris who wins immunity. Congratulations, Jeb. Only the younger people winning immunity. <laughs> no wonder they keep getting picked off. Let's see what's going on at the beach. We have Dennis impressing the rest of the team. We have Bernard and Shigeru having a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Bernard and Dennis bonding strongly, which also has a lasting impact. All right, I guess that's it. Let's go to tribal. We got the imaginary friend tribe here. Final 11. Jeb has the necklace. He cannot be voted for. And it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up. So I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Morgan Fyrus. Next vote goes to... Blossom. One vote Blossom, one vote Morgan. Next vote goes to... Blossom. That's two votes Blossom, one vote Morgan. Next one goes to Morgan. We're tied. Two votes Blossom, two votes Morgan. The next one goes to Kitty Lou. All right. Interesting. Two votes Blossom, two votes Morgan, one with Kitty. And the next one goes to Kitty. That's two votes Blossom, two votes Kitty, two votes Morgan. Five votes left. Next one goes to Kitty. That's three votes Kitty, two votes Blossom, two votes Morgan. 
And the next one goes to Blossom. We got three votes Blossom, three votes Kitty, two votes Morgan, three votes left. Next one goes to Kitty. Four votes Kitty, three votes Blossom, two votes Morgan, two votes left. And the 10th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations, third member of the jury. It is Kitty Lou. Not really sure what happened here, but Kitty goes out here. Third member of the jury. Unfortunate for her. Tribe has spoken. I don't really understand how it landed on Kitty. The Kitty votes are Bernard, Blossom, Jeb, Molly, Morgan, Shafira. So it's that big alliance plus Shafira. Um, all right, Kitty had the legacy advantage. She gives it to Keala. That makes sense. They were allies. Kayla and Kitty, they would vote for Morgan. And then we got Dennis, Shigeru, and Thomas voting for Blossom, the older men on the tribe. They hate Blossom. What did she do? <laughs> Dennis and Blossom, they, like, they do not get along. They hate each other. Dennis has made it his mission to get her out, and it is not succeeding, like, at all. Were they not in an alliance with her? Who was in their alliance at the beginning? Um, no, wait, it was, it might have been Keala, right? Was it? Hang on. Yeah, it's Keala. Okay. Anyway, we're on episode number 11 now. We got the Babysitter Alliance number two, the three-person, young-person alliance. It is now at a loyalty of seven. So these three people, they are really getting along. The older person alliance also, they are getting kind of up there. We got Keala and Thomas at a seven and an eight, respectively. And then we got Dennis at a five. I don't know why he's not that loyal. The big alliance, they are not, like, that loyal. Actually, Molly is down to a four. Everyone else is at a five. Oh, wait, Morgan is at a six, actually. So this, this, like, big person alliance, I don't know how stable it is. And it might break up pretty soon. Let's go to reward. We have um, this group winning reward. It is Morgan, Shigeru, and Thomas. They win an aerial tour of the local area, followed by a survivor feast. All right. But immunity goes to a Bernard. He wins immunity. Congratulations. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We have Molly and Thomas bonding strongly. We have Thomas and Shafira having a major fight, which has a lasting impact. And then there's something going on with the big alliance. Molly, she's out. She doesn't want to be there. She was at a four. I guess it makes sense. Um, she's bonding with Thomas. Maybe she's trying to make something happen there. But she's gone. Um, I feel like this was her only, like, safety net here. So I, I don't think this is a good move for her. But whatever. Molly is gonna Molly. Let's go to Tribal. We got the tribe here. We got Bernard with the necklace. And it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands. So I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Thomas. That's one vote Thomas. Second vote goes to Shigeru. One vote Shigeru, one vote Thomas. Next vote goes to Thomas. Two votes Thomas, one vote Shigeru, seven votes left. And the next vote goes to Blossom. Blossom Greenberg. <laughs> this is the Dennis vote, <laughs> probably. Two votes Thomas, one vote Blossom, one vote Shigeru. Next vote goes to Blossom. Two votes Blossom, two votes Thomas, one vote Shigeru. And the next vote goes to Thomas, three votes Thomas, two votes Blossom, one vote Shigeru, four votes left, and the next vote goes to Shigeru, so that's three votes Thomas, two votes Blossom, two votes Shigeru, and the next vote also goes to Blossom, so we're tied again, three votes Blossom, three votes Thomas, two votes Shigeru, two votes left, and the next vote goes to Blossom, ooh, is Dennis gonna get his way here? We got four votes Blossom, three votes Thomas, two votes Shigeru, one vote left. And the 11th person voted out of Sims for Survivor Generations. And the fourth member of the jury, it is Blossom Greenberg. Dennis Kim, he has made his mission successful. <laughs> he has gotten Blossom out. Very unfortunate for her, but she goes out here. That big alliance also falling apart right in front of her eyes. So the Blossom votes are Dennis, it's Keala, it's Molly, it's Shigeru, and it's Thomas. So it's the older men plus Keala and Molly. So that's that alliance. Molly, she was bonding with Thomas. They were able to pull her in. And then we got Jep, Morgan, and Shafira voting for Thomas. That is that young person alliance. And then we got Bernard and Blossom throwing votes on Shigeru for some reason. I don't know. Um, That big alliance not even voting together. Bernard and Blossom were in an alliance with what? Ooh, 
was it Morgan? I think Morgan is in that alliance, right? Anyway, we'll go to episode number 12. We're at the final nine. Yeah, the big alliance is now only three people. It's Bernard, it's Jeb, it's Morgan. Very interesting. Otherwise, these alliances are not really moving that much. Let's go to reward. Morgan, she wins reward, and she decides to share it with Jeb, Bernard, and Shafira. They win a barbecue at camp with a loved one, all right? Loved ones with it. And immunity goes to Jeb. Jeb Harris wins his second immunity for the season. Cannot be voted out tonight. Let's go to the beach. We have Dennis impressing the rest of the team, and that's it. <laughs> okay, well, I have no idea who's going out here. I feel like probably one of the younger people. Since the older people, they are kind of starting to get some steam here. Pick up some steam. Let's go to Tribal. All right, we have Jeb Harris with a necklace. And it is time to vote. If anyone has the Hidden Immunity Idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Bernard, he stands up. He's going to use his idol on Morgan. Morgan Fyrus. Any votes cast against Morgan will not count. And Shigeru has also decided to use the Hidden Immunity Idol. He uses it on himself. Any votes cast against Shigeru will not count. And I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Morgan does not count. Next one goes to Morgan does not count. Morgan does not count. Morgan does not count. Oh my god. Morgan does not count. Five votes for Morgan. None of them counted. And the next one goes to Shigeru does not count. <laughs> All right. Six votes red. None of them have counted. Next one goes to Keala. That's one with Keala. Only two more votes left. And the 12th person voted out of Sims for Survivor Generations, fifth member of the jury. It is Keala. That's three votes. That's enough. Holy shit. What a flip. <laughs> the young person tribe probably was able to pull this off. Let's see. Who was the. Yeah, it's Jeb, Morgan, and Shafira voting for Keala. They get their way. Bernard votes for Shigeru, and the Morgan votes are Dennis, Keala, Molly, Shigeru, and Thomas. Keala also had the legacy advantage. She gives it to Thomas. Unfortunately, she goes out here, idled out. Keala Hoapili. Very exciting tribal. Let's move on to the next episode. We're at the final eight here. We got Bernard. We got Dennis. We got Jep. We got Molly. We got Morgan. We got Shigeru. We got Thomas. And we got Shafira. So we're actually tied 4-4 four, four for old people versus uh, young people. Only men on the older tribe are left. All of the uh, older women are gone. And also, almost only women on the younger tribe are left, aside from Jap Harris. <laughs> kind of funny how that turned out. All right, let's see. We've got an idol hidden. All right. We got Thomas with the legacy advantage. We got Thomas also with the re reward. I cannot say reward. I don't know why. That reward stealer, he has that. <laughs> All right. We got the Walking Cane Alliance. Dennis is up to a six now. Um, of course, Keala, gone. The Babysitter Alliance number two, the Young Person Alliance, they are now up to an eight. Very nice. So it's Jeb, Morgan, Shafira. Morgan only at a seven, but Jeb and Shafira at an eight. And then we got the Merch Alliance. It is Bernard, Jeb, and Morgan. Morgan is at a seven here. So she is just as loyal to uh, Shafira as she is to Bernard. Interesting. Let's see who wins immunity. Um, this is a two-part episode. Oh, did they do that on the season? I guess. Don't really remember. It's been a while since I saw this season. But Bernard has won immunity. Congratulations, Bernard. He cannot be voted for his second immunity this season. Let's see what's going on on the beach. Nobody finds the idol. So there are no idols in play. Only the legacy advantage and the reward steal. We got Dennis once again impressing the rest of the team. People love Dennis. Jeb rests at camp to restore his energy. Very good strategy, Jeb, since you kind of need it. But <laughs> Shafira <laughs> has, de has decided to quit the game. Shafira, what? <laughs> All right, well, Shafira is gone. No tribal. That's the episode. <laughs> All right. What the fuck? I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, final seven. Bernard, Dennis, Jeb, Molly, Morgan, Shigeru, Thomas. And we got Dennis Kim finding the Hidden Immunity Idol. Dennis Kim is really starting to pick up steam here. Honestly, uh, 
if I'm gonna bet on anyone here, I feel like Dennis is in a very good spot to win this. I don't know. I'm not gonna count him out. I think he's gonna probably take it to the end. We see now that Shafira is gone. Morgan is up to a 9 with Jeb. So she was at a 7. She went all the way up to a 9. So I guess she didn't like Shafira that much. Um, <laughs> okay. Also, gotta say, Morgan, she has a really good social game. She's got this alliance with Jab, the final two, and then she also has Bernard. So I feel like this trio here is probably, like, very powerful. They are very close to being the majority. Bernard has won immunity again. Bernard, a comp beast of the season. Three immunity wins. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We got Morgan having a major meltdown. And we have a new alliance. It is a final two of Bernard and Dennis. Look at that, Dennis. <laughs> really making a move here. They are at a loyalty of nine. Holy shit. They were not allied at all until this episode. And now they're at a nine. That doesn't make any sense. But okay, I guess. Maybe they see each other both as like threats in the game. So they're like, well, we should probably just work together and make sure the other people don't vote us out. This is going to be an interesting tribal. Shikuro also completely worn out, but is not giving up. All right. Anyway, let's go to tribal. We got the final seven. We got Bernard, Dennis, Jep, Molly, Morgan, Shigeru, and Thomas. Bernard has the immunity necklace. Again, cannot be voted for, and it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I will read the votes. First vote goes to... Shigeru. One vote Shigeru. Second vote goes to... Molly Prescott, who I honestly forgot was on this season, but <laughs> okay. One vote Molly, one vote Shigeru, five votes left. And the next vote goes to Shigeru. Two votes Shigeru, one vote Molly, four votes left. Next vote goes to Shigeru. That's three votes Shigeru, one vote Molly, three votes left. And the 13th person voted out, it's Shigeru. That's unfortunate. Shigeru, trap has spoken. He's gone here. He wasted an idol, could have used it here. Um, I guess it was just downhill from there for him. So everybody voted for Shigeru, aside from Shigeru, who voted for Molly, which I completely forgot Molly was on this season. She has to be a goat now, right? Purple Molly. <laughs> All right, we're at the finale. We got the final six. It's Bernard, comp beast of the season with three immunity wins. We got Dennis Kim. Social king, I guess, probably, since he's always impressing people or something. We got Jeb Harris, who has been kind of under the radar, but he has been loyal to his people that has carried him through. We got Molly Prescott, purple Molly Prescott. She's here, I guess. I guess she is here. We got Morgan Fires, strategic threat here. She has been working with a lot of people. And then we have Thomas Jabari, also been a loyal player. He has... Stuck to his allies that has kept him around. He has two advantages, one of which is going to come into play now, I believe. The uh, legacy advantage. It was final six, right? All right. Anyway, let's go and see what's going on here. We've got um, no idol hidden. We got Dennis with the idol. We got Thomas with the legacy advantage, which will be used this round. Then we got Thomas with the reward steal, which is also the last time to use it. All right. So we got these alliances. We got Dennis and Thomas. Pretty strong alliance. We got... Jeb and Morgan, also pretty strong alliance. Then we got the three-person alliance, Bernard, Jeb, and Morgan. Not super strong, but Morgan is at an eight here. Bernard and Jeb only at a six. And then we have the loyalty of nine alliance between Bernard and Dennis. Very interesting dynamics going into this finale here. We shall see which duo comes out on top. But let's go to immunity. Bernard! <laughs> Comp beast! Wins immunity once again, fourth immunity win this season. He also wins reward, which is a steak dinner with wine waiting at camp. He takes Dennis and Morgan with him. All right, let's see what's going on on the beach. Oh, by the way, uh, Thomas did not use his uh, advantage, the re reward steal. Bernard and Dennis have a minor disagreement. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, final two alliance, not as strong as it looked. Maybe Dennis is out here? I don't know. Let's go to Tribal. All right, we're at Tribal. We got Bernard, we got Dennis, we got Jeb, we got Molly, we got Morgan, and we got Thomas. Bernard has the necklace, and it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Thomas obviously stands up, uses his legacy advantage, so any votes cast against Thomas will not count, and I will read the votes. First vote goes to... 
Thomas does not count. Next vote goes to Thomas does not count. Third vote goes to Morgan. One vote Morgan, three votes left. Next vote goes to Morgan. Two votes Morgan, two votes left. And the next one goes to Molly. That's two votes Morgan, one vote Molly, one vote left. And the final vote goes to Morgan. 14th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. Eighth member of the jury, she was the strategic threat. Thomas kind of didn't really need the uh, legacy advantage, but he did cancel two votes, so that's pretty good. Unfortunate for Morgan, I think she needed to win this immunity challenge, but she wasn't able to pull it out. Bernard Compeast just destroyed her. Let's see how the vote turned out. We've got Bernard, the only vote for Molly for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. Then we got Dennis voting for Morgan, we got Molly voting for Morgan, and we got Thomas voting for Morgan. And then we got Jep and Morgan, the Thomas votes. All right, part two of the finale. We got the final five. Bernard, Dennis, Jeb, Molly, and Thomas. I'm going to be honest. I think Molly might be out here. This is like the spot where the purple people <laughs> tend to get taken out. So I think, I think she's gone here. But she might also be a zero vote finalist. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. We got Dennis with the idol. This is the last time he can use the idol. Then we have uh, Dennis and Thomas together still. Pretty strong alliance. Um, the Bernard and Dennis alliance actually down. Dennis is down to an 8. Bernard is down to a 7. And then the imaginary friend alliance number 1, the merch alliance, they are down to a 5. Morgan was really the glue holding them together. And it's not looking like they are going to be super loyal to each other. But Jeff doesn't really have anything else going on though. So I feel like Bernard can still affect his vote probably. But let's see who wins immunity. Is it going to be Bernard once again? No, it is Jeb. Jeb Harris, also kind of an underrated comp piece. He has now, what, three immunity wins? Pretty good. Congratulations, Jeb. He cannot be voted out here. Let's see what's going on on the beach. We've got um, Imaginary Friend Alliance number one dissolving. <laughs> Morgan truly was the glue holding them together. And without her, they're done. Honestly, for this tribal, I feel like Bernard should be voted out. I mean, you can't go into the final four with someone who has won four immunities, right? Especially now that they're vulnerable. Like, there's no way. But let's see what happens at Tribal. We've got the final five here. Bernard, Dennis, Jeb, Molly, Thomas. Jeb has the immunity necklace, cannot be voted for, and it is time to vote. If anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Dennis Kim uses his idol on himself. Any votes cast against Dennis will not count. I will read the votes. The first vote goes to... Bernard. One vote Bernard. Next vote goes to Molly. One vote Bernard, one vote Molly. Three votes left. Next vote goes to Molly. That's two votes Molly, one vote Bernard. Two votes left. Next vote goes to Bernard. We're tied. Two votes Bernard, two votes Molly. One vote left. And the 15th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations. Ninth member of the jury. It is going to be Bernard, yeah. <laughs> there was no way. I mean, you can't let the compies go to the end. If you have the chance to take them out, you gotta take it. So, unfortunate for Bernard, he takes fifth place here. He did really well on the season, though. Let's see who the Molly votes were. It was Dennis. Dennis was the other Molly vote, and of course, Bernard. But the other three, they were like, no, there's no way. He's gotta go. All right, we've got one more tribal before final tribal, so... Let's see what happens at the final four here. We got Dennis, we got Jap, we got Molly, we got Thomas. Only one more alliance left. It is Dennis and Thomas. We will see if this actually ends up pulling through into the final three here. But let's see who wins the final immunity of the season. It is going to be... Molly Prescott! <laughs> Molly Prescott hasn't done anything the entire season. And she is here to uh, prove the haters wrong. Purple, no more. She wins the final immunity. She's locked in for the final three. I still think she's a zero vote finalist, but maybe she um, can pull it out. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Uh, Molly and Thomas bond strongly. And Jep is completely worn out, but is not giving up. All right. So not a whole lot going on on the beach. I imagine it's going to be between Jeb or Dennis at this point. Dennis and Tom is obviously working together. So I think it's going to depend on if Molly and Jeb can 
pull together or not. We could be going into a tie boat, so there is going to be potential that we are going into fire here. But let's go to tribal. We got Molly with the immunity necklace. It is time to vote. Uh, no idols at play anymore, so I will read the votes. Although they did throw in an idol here at the final four, right? No, it was the final five on Millennials versus Gen X where they threw randomly an idol. All right. Well, anyway, um, I will read the votes. The first vote goes to Thomas. That's one more Thomas. Next vote goes to Jep. That's one more Jep. One more Thomas. Two votes left. And the next one goes to Dennis. Oh, no. <laughs> That's one more Dennis, one more Jeb, one more Thomas. Seems like Jeb and Molly were not voting together. So I think Jeb is done here. The person voted out, 16th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Generations, 10th member of the jury. It's Jeb. Yeah. I don't know. How? Why did they do this? Jeb and Molly, they should have pulled together, but maybe Molly was, like, fine with Jeb leaving. I don't know. Purple Molly, once again, doing nothing of substance. <laughs> but Dennis and Thomas, they were able to work together here. They made it to the final three together. Good on them. But let's go to final tribal. We got our final three here. Dennis Kim, Molly Prescott, and Thomas Jabari. They all make their finale speeches. We have our jury of ten. They ask their questions, and let's read the votes. The first vote goes to Thomas. That's one vote, Thomas. The second vote goes to Dennis. One vote, Thomas. One vote, Dennis. The third vote goes to Molly. <laughs> one vote, Thomas. One vote, Dennis. One vote, Molly. We're tied. And the next vote goes to Molly. That's two votes, Molly. One vote, Dennis. One vote, Thomas. Fifth vote goes to Dennis. So we're two votes Dennis, two votes Molly, one votes Thomas. And the next vote goes to Thomas. We're tied again. Two votes for all of them. Seventh vote goes to Molly. Three votes Molly, two votes Thomas, two votes Dennis. Eighth vote goes to Dennis. We're tied again. Three votes Dennis, three votes Molly, two votes Thomas, two votes left. We're very tied here. Ninth vote goes to Thomas, we're tied. <laughs> three votes for all three of them. It's going to come down to the final vote and the winner of Sims 4 Survivor Generations is Thomas. Thomas Jabari has won. I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I thought Dennis Kim had it in the bag, but Thomas showed that consistency and loyalty is the way to go. He was able to securely, not even securely actually, it was very close, but he was able to uh, pull it out at the end. <laughs> so the vote, the people that voted for Thomas were Baby Ariel, Keala, Morgan, and Shigeru. Dennis votes were Bernard, Jeb, and Kitty. And then the Molly votes were Blossom, Aluna, and Shafira. All right, and then the fan favorite, it was Rahul Chopra. <laughs> okay, um... I think he was like third out. I don't know why he's winning the fan favorite, but good for him. He wins. Let's look at the stats. We have our uh, placement order. It is Kevin, our first boot. We've got Rohan, Rahul, the fan favorite, third boot. <laughs> okay, I guess it must have been a very eventful three episodes for him. Then we got Eleanor Sullivan, Gita Risoya, Aurelia Robles, Don Guzman, Baby Ariel, Luna Villarreal, Kitty Lou. Blossom Greenberg, Keala Hoapili, Shafira Kayaputri, The Quitter, Shigeru Nishidake, Morgan Fires, Bernard, Jeb Harris, third place, Molly Prescott, second place, Dennis Kim. Actually, Molly Prescott and Dennis Kim should probably share runner-up, right? Since they both got three votes to win. But we have our winner, Thomas Jabari. Most challenge wins were Bernard, obviously, with five wins. Also Morgan, apparently. Morgan won four rewards, I guess. I mean, I'm not really going to count that since most of those were group wins. But we got Bernard with four wins, Jep with three wins, immunity wins. I mean, Luna, Molly, and Morgan all with one. Most strategic was actually Molly Prescott. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? She didn't do anything. She, wasn't, she was not in like a single alliance, I think. Uh, she just coasted along. Couldn't even win at the end. I don't, 
this is bullshit. No, this is not true. <laughs> anyway, we got Bernard and Luna with the most votes, both at 15. We got Blossom and Rohan with 12. Kevin and Shigeru with 11. And then we got Morgan with 10. And actually, Aurelio and Shafira have zero votes each. That doesn't make sense. What happened to Aurelio? All oh, right, he drew rocks. I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, he he went out on a rock draw. Honestly, Aurelio, maybe he would have done pretty well if he hadn't gotten rocked out of the game. But they took that risk and it did not pay off for him. Anyway, there you have it. Sims 4 Survivor Generations completed. All hail our reigning king, Thomas Jabari. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.